Hello everyone, I am Aniket and today is my second lecture on demultiplexer. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the multiplexers and today we will be discussing about the demultiplexer. So let's see what is demultiplexer. Here is the block diagram of demultiplexer. Demultiplexers are exactly opposite or we can say the reverse functionality of the multiplexer. In the demultiplexer, we, we get input from a single line and the output is been provided to the multiple lines depend upon the select line which is s1 and s0 the uh, which the input will be going to which particular output line it completely depends upon these select lines so now let's see the naming ceremony of this block diagram this y0 y1 y2 y3 are representing the output lines s1 s0 are representing the select lines which are also known as the control lines here d is representing the input d multiplexers are available in the range of like uh, 1 is to 2 1 is to 4 1 is to 8 1 is to 16 they are available in the power of 2 power so now what is this 1 is to 4 1 is to 8 this 1 is representing the only one input and this 4 is representing 4 outputs. If it is 1 is to 2, it will have only one input and two output lines will be there. Now, on what basis the select lines are been selected? So, there is one formula. Relation between the input line, uh, relation between the input line and the output line. On that base, the select lines are been selected so here is the formula 2 to the power s is equal to y this s is the select lines and y is the output if it is 1 is to 4 it means 4 output lines are there so here we will be putting 4 value at so now 2 to the power s means 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 means 2 square is equal to 4 so s value is becoming 2 so two select lines will be there okay now we now let's assume you, here you, you can see here 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 so 2 is representing s so two select lines will be there if it is 1 is to 8 then what to do if it is 1 is to 8 it means eight output lines are there so we will be writing here 8 so 2 to the power 3 means 2 cube is equal to 8 so 3 select lines will be there here one more select line will be coming for 1 is to 8 in d multiplexer we get only one input and that input is been given to the multiple output lines depending upon the select line whatever the logic we provide on the select line on that basis the particular output is been selected output line is been selected now let's see the logic diagram truth table of the demultiplexer and let's see how it works by the help of the truth table when we have to pass our input to the y0 output if i have to pass this d input to y0 output my select lines should be equal to 0 s1 s0 should be equal to 0 you can see in the truth table s1 s0 value is equal to 0 then our output is equal to y0 now how it is let's see the working please pay attention on my cursor now when s1 is equal to 0 the 0 is been passed through this inverter as we know about the what is the working of inverter it converts or it inverts the value if it is 0 is been getting it will be converted into 1 so s1 bar is equal to 1 for same for s0 0 has been passed through inverter 0 becomes 1 so s0 bar is equal to 1 so 1 is present in this line okay so now this 1 is been given to the first AND gate and this s0 1 is been given to this AND gate as we know about the property of AND gate when both the inputs are 1, when both the inputs are 1, our output is equal to 1. 
okay so both the inputs are one so whatever the value which will be present in this d it will be getting passed through y0 so in short we can say y0 has been selected and automatically all others are not selected because see s0 was one s0 was sorry zero in the first case both were zero over there so here s1 bar was one s1 bar become once that one is been passed to second and get but the second input is s0 is equal to zero so zero and one is equal to zero one zero is equal to zero zero one is equal to zero 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 is equal to zero so for to switch on the and gate we have to provide one one compulsory for both the inputs let's take an another example for the last one how to select y3 this y3 when we have to provide one one to both the select lines when both the select lines are one one now pay attention on my cursor this one has been passed through this y3 one has been getting passed through this one okay same as zero one has been getting passed through here so this and gate is getting input both one are the input so whatever will be value present on this dot pay attention this dot this dot is representing rd pay attention see here it is connected to d so whatever the value will be present here in this dot it is d it will be getting passed through y3 so in short y3 is been selected for this only example i will show why y2 was not selected for the last example 1 1 why y2 was not selected see here 1 has been getting passed from s1 it has been going to y2 okay now here 1 is there okay for s0 also but this second line has been connected to s0 bar so 1 gets converted to 0 so 0 has been getting passed through here 1 0 is 0 so it is turned off the value which is present here is not going because it is 0 output is 0 so here we have seen the working of the 1 is to 4 demultiplexer now let's see the equations equation is simple y0 is equal to s1 bar s0 bar dot d why it is uh, as we have seen here both were the 1 for the first case first case the input was 0 0 but it was converted into inverter pass through inverter so s1 bar and s0 bar is equal to 1 so s1 bar s0 bar dot d is the equation for the y0 same for others now let's say about the block diagram if in the if in the exam you uh, you have been asked to draw 1 is to 2 demultiplexer block diagram the simple you have to do the thing is that only one input will be there and two output lines will be there and only one select line as i have told you before how to select the how to identify the number of select lines for one is to two only one select line will be coming and only two output lines will be there if it is one is to eight three select lines and here eight output lines and only one input so that's all for the demultiplexers thank you for paying attention if you have any kind of a query or doubt you can mail me on this email id if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and like the video thank you